All right, we're here today to show you how to use Status's MIDI clock tempo controls. Status has a rock solid internal MIDI clock that can be used to synchronize hundreds of pedals, including those from Strymon, Maris, and Chase Bliss. The tempo controls work whether or not you're on the tempo display screen. But if you're going to use Status primarily as a tempo controller, it might be a good idea to switch so it starts up on this screen every time. To do that, we need to change a global setting. So hold down the button while you power status on. Release the button and press it one more time, and here's where you choose the startup screen. Right now it's on program name, but if you turn the knob, you can switch it to BPM. That's the screen we were just on. You can also have status start up on the flasher screen, which is where the entire screen flashes in time with the tempo. You'll see that in a minute. But for our purposes, BPM is going to work better. So hold down the button until it says Global Saved, then Release. Now when Status starts up, you'll see that it starts on that tempo display screen. From this screen, you can also manually adjust the tempo turning the knob. Anywhere from 24 all the way up to 300 beats a minute. Status stores the tempo for each program, and you can set that during MIDI map mode. But again, if you want to manually change it, you can do that here. If you have the optional side controller, you can also tap in a tempo. You can also start and stop Status's clock by pressing the start button. You can also manually start the clock by pressing the button on Status. But if you want to stop it on Status, you have to press again, then turn the knob. If you want to save a tempo, go down two screens and then turn the knob. Now each time this program is called up, Status will start sending MIDI clock at 129.7 beats a minute. You can also save a tempo that you tap in. After you've tapped in the tempo and know you like it, hold down the button and Status will say change is saved. Now each time this program is called up, MIDI clock will be sent at 71.6 beats a minute. You can also control Status's tempo using MIDI control changes, but that's a little beyond the scope of this video. There's more information about that in our owner's manual online at stepaudio.net. So I want to show you a couple more screens here. If you press the button three times, it gets to turn to exit. If you turn there, it goes out to the top level menus where you can choose among Status's five different modes. Now if you drill down one more, Here's the screen that flashes in time with the tempo. Again, you can set that to be your startup screen, and it might be really useful if you're a drummer trying to play along with a click. If you press again, it takes you back out to the top screen. Finally, for each program, not only can you store a separate tempo in MIDI map mode, but you can also set a tap ratio, which means the clock speed compared to how fast you tap. The default is a quarter note, which is the time between two taps. You can set it to 8th note, which would be twice as fast, or 16th note, which would be four times as fast. There's six different ratios to choose from, and again, those are set during MIDI map mode when you create your presets. Presets can be created either on the pedal itself or using our handy online programmer. Hopefully that answers all your questions about how to use Status's tempo controls, but there's lots more information in other videos over at stepaudio.net.